So when we last left off, Kiri, we were suffering, uh... Yeah, we were like about an hour ten in. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, we were watching on Amazon, which is the best thing, because they keep, just like Netflix, keep where you last were. Uh, but as I was gonna, yeah, that, but yeah. We suffered through, uh, movie one, and now we're moving on to movie two, where they've recast everybody. And I think when we move into movie three, they recast everybody again. They just did not want to be associated with this thing, did they? It's almost like when people realize that there was Randy and Philosophy, or what Randy and Philosophy was, they're like, Nope! Bail it! Bail it on the ship! Okay, it's taking a bit to load. But yeah, we'll give it some time. Uh, uh, there we go. Right where we left off, right at the this scene where it says Reardon was right, shared to death, <laughs> blood drawn, fair share unfair. I don't know what that flag is supposed to be, and don't tread on me signs. The unification board is authorized. The unification clients through penalties that include, but are not limited to, fines, seizure of assets, nationalization of property, and imprisonment for so long as an emergency lasts. So, why is America the Soviet Union now? I think Soviet won this. I think we guess the Soviet Union won the Cold War. Nobody won the Cold War in real life, though. It's obvious the drastic measures. Yeah, to survive the Soviet Union, so I'll take that as a win. I think everyone here agrees that capitalism doesn't work, not without government as a partner, a caretaker. Really. Maybe Red Dawn happened. And they oh, won. Your businesses are failing. Yeah. Your unions are Okay, suffering. one, unions aren't part of that. Two, the, line the businesses are failing because of your stifling control. Until public confidence has been restored. This is now, so heavily handed and, and stupid when you think of it. We can argue about the fact that capitalism has a huge amount of flaws and technically does not work. It also can work. Blah, blah, blah. It gets into economic theory, etc. It, it, it will work in the sense that it will exploit the masses to produce wealth no for those. Reardon will not be a problem. Mr. Mouch, put me on yeah. screen. Also, Jim, this being an ass. The immense greed of a few has pushed us to a precipice. I recommend that we implement Directive 10289 immediately. For the public good. He's a soulless person In because he's willing to work with the government. To protect the security of our fellow citizens, it is decreed for the duration of the national emergency that the statutes of Directive 10 289 shall remain in effect. One, all employees and wage earners of any kind shall henceforth be attached to their current jobs and may not be discharged or quit said employment. Uh. All industrial and manufacturing entities shall henceforth remain in operation and owners of said establishments shall not quit, retire, sell, or transfer their business. Three, all copyrights and patents pertaining to any invention, formula, or process shall be transferred to the federal government by means of gift certificates signed by the present owners of said copyrights and patents. Four, no new devices, inventions, products, or goods of any nature are to be created or manufactured. What? What? No, wait, 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 wait. Patents and copyrights is hereby suspended. Five, every company or sole proprietor shall henceforth produce the same quantity of goods or provide the same services as in the basic year. The year just ended. No more or no less. Six, every citizen, regardless of income, shall henceforth spend the same amount of money as in the basic year. And seven, all wages, prices, dividends, and other forms of income are hereby frozen at present figures. Directive 10289 shall be administered and enforced by the Unification Board, whose decisions will be final. It's all happening so fast. What? You knew about this? I have appointed current Director of Economic Development, Wesley Mouch, 
Uh, I, I pause. Oh, the fuck? The fuck? Kiri, you heard all that, yes? Yeah, a recovery czar. That it just wouldn't work. Nope. Like none of what they're suggesting would work. It's not even like. It's worse than what the Soviet Union has suggested, and it's just or did, and it's like uh, oh my god, oh my god, it hurts. Like that, that entire what they just described is it would just immediately fail. Like okay, we're gonna freeze all wages. You're going to have to sell all patents. Don't make anything new. Like, that's the worst one. Don't make anything new. Don't create an innovation. Also, that kind of fits with Rand, Rand's philosophy that, well, you can't make anything new in a society that everybody's equal or there's equal chance for everybody to be blah or whatever. The, that's not how actual society works. But this is the heavy-handed approach of what Rand believes the world would be if people are provided things. And it's like... Why? And then there's the fact that the, the forcing nobody to quit their jobs is like, what? How does that... And how does... How can you again force everybody to meet a minimum, but it's, it's also their maximum? If I say 20 tons, you make 20 tons. Surplus is good. Even yes. if capitalism doesn't exist, surplus is good. Yes, that means in case something goes off, you at least can work with that extra amount. Exactly. The, just it's so heavy-handed. It it goes right around into. That's not how anybody no, thinks because no. it would destroy anything. If something went poorly oh, or you needed more or something, you're the fucked. The home of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness has been altered forever. God, that's so. It was already a stupid dystopian setting. It's like, uh, uh, President Thompson. Also, I want to point out that people are saying it like, "Oh, this is gonna happen because of this," like. Should we point out the fact that, um, you know, like, again, there's all the stupid stuff about what this system's about, etc. and so on, but I just wanted to point out that she doesn't understand that a random philosophy basically just goes down to everybody is constantly underselling each other to get a job, and then you're stuck whenever you're pay getting paid for which will be garbage. Like, and then your rich boss is getting richer because he doesn't have to pay you as much, even though your labor is highly needed. Also, we get that fucking bullshit. My country do ideas. Oh my god. It's so fucking melodramatic bullshit. Oh my god. My country, dude! Considering what's going on in this one, yeah, country's I mean, dead. The country's alive, it's just the liberties it supposedly goes with don't. Intellectual assets become the property of the government. Now, since tonight is the deadline at midnight, I'm here as a convenience for you. All you have to do is sign this gift certificate, entrusting your patents. Unification board. The thing is, Reardon in the opening so, scene when we first saw him was being an asshole and not obeying government well, sanctions to make sure his medal was safe. He proved that it was oh, safe, and, uh, but by being an asshole and not complying to government to sanctions to make sure he didn't murder several hundred people on a bridge. You know. Gotcha. And then... And Something then the government was apparently totally cool with. Sir, I'm not gonna sign what? 
something that the government was apparently totally cool with. Him testing it like that? No, they weren't. That's why they were trying to call him out. Remember, the government was super against it, but legally they didn't have the ability to do anything. Like, that's the thing. The government was super against it. But the thing is, the Randian reason, I think, is because, oh, the government's evil and trying to stop his creativity know, and trying to so take the patent from him. Except already knows. he's already filed the patent. Of course, you can't say the same for Miss Taggart. Yeah, they're a little late on that one. Most respected yeah, businesswomen in the nation. Spotless reputation. A source of inspiration to young girls all across the country. Maybe she shouldn't be sleeping with a married man. No offense, but she literally is sleeping with a married man. I personally don't think he cares. That they that he cares that she cares. She probably wouldn't, but at the same time, it's to show how evil the government is because they're going to bring it up. Wait, is that the statute? Why the fuck is it so big? Is this... Yeah, okay, so they're trying to do the whole thing of any big document is bad. Documentation's bad. My problem with huge documentation is... Someone could slip something in that the lazy eye would not notice. Yeah, which is basically the Republicans' modus operandi for the last hundred years. Same with Democrats. I mean, yes, but not as severely. And the Republicans have been using it to slip things in when the Democrats try and compromise. It's the reason why there's a bunch of the bullshit that we've been dealing with in recent times in history. And, oh, Dagny's coming to um, assault or piss off her brother. Yep, yeah, okay. What the hell are you doing? What's wrong? Everything. You did this. Directive 10-289. You and your government... I support him wondering what the hell is wrong with her. It's what the country needs right now. I'm part of the solution. Tell me. How's it feel to be the last one standing? Better than crawling around on the ground with the rest of the snakes. Oh yeah, call people I trying to support other human beings. And I won't be a slave driver. I quit. Tell that to your cronies. You won't be a slave and you won't yeah, be a slave driver. It's against the directive. I'm going to my family cabin. Hold all your calls? Hold everything, Eddie. Don't contact me about the railroad. I'm done. So she's quitting, but she's not actually going to officially quit, so they can't do anything. I'm just on extended vacation in my family cabin. You figure in this dystopian world, they'd have a plan for dealing with something like that. I mean, I want to also point out that she calls people that are trying to support each other snakes. It's like. Again, every major structure society that has been successful is built upon, you know, supporting one another in some capacity. Even the most capitalistic societies. Because if you go pure capitalism, everything falls apart. We saw what happened with that. We, we know what the railroad barons fucking did to our country. We know what the Roaring Twenties did. Because the Roaring Twenties led into a very big bubble bursting called the Great Depression. And then everybody blamed, you know, the Democrats for what the Republicans did there. As the Democrats tried to scramble and fix everything, they organized something, and it finally started getting fixed. Because you need a minimum level of sanctioning in effect to make sure that people aren't exploited. And even then, those, you know, corporate stooges are still going to exploit and go for that minimum rather than try and extend beyond it to prove that they, you know, they, anything. It's like, uh, it's like, it's like, Reardon is not, 
Also, this guy's a corporate person, but he's super connected with the government. Theoretically, isn't that not allowed in Randian society? What? What's not allowed yeah. in Randian? You know, being a very capitalist while still having, like, a, a conne connection to the government. I think, to be fair, in a Randian society, there should be no government. Also, this guy makes no sense because he's uh, Mr. Tanner, both things at the same time, and he's just a broken issues. wreck. Just deal with it. What kind of issues? Well, I have some frozen trains. I can't detour them because of the split rails and repairs. Look, I haven't found anyone to replace Dagny yet. I don't know. How long have you been here? Almost eight months. Well, that's plenty of time. You're promoted. Congratulations, Chief Operating Officer. What's your name? Mitchum. Mitchum. Carry on. To me? And for the record. There's no pay increase due to 10 289. You don't need to include the 10 289. He could just say there's no pay increase. You, you don't need to point out the government for that. There could also just be a bit no pay increase. It's like. Also, oh. Yes, because in the Reddit society, you constantly are going to give people pay increases. What is she doing? Throwing this stuff away! Uh, maybe it's supposed to be symbolic of her trying to throw away the stuff she got with blood money or something? I don't know. Uh, no, because she's a Indian. Blood money is fine. Except she just said that it isn't. And it's like, what? And this guy is working on it. Is he going to get grabbed by Galt after he figures it out? Is that how Dagny's going to get in the plane? Probably. Also, how come all the rails need to be repaired and replaced? I thought that was against it. Are they still functional? Well, no, the thing is, like, that doesn't make any sense either, because they replaced a giant line with the reared metal, and then they've been re- but then they took all that reared metal out and started using it to repair all the other lines. So how come all the lines need even more repairs? Didn't they replace basically all the other lines with reared and steel at that point? That, it, like, it doesn't make sense, that part. Yesterday's apologies. Oh. Well, I tell you this. I'm late for my campaign stop in San Francisco. I swear I'll make it a priority to nationalize this railroad. History shows us it's the only way to make them run on time. I don't even know where to start. That's a Mussolini reference. And Mussolini was super fascist and autocratic. And... I... Chip, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But, like, where do we start with the Mussolini's, though? Like, the fact that it turns out the rails actually didn't run a lot of time, that it was still technically a capitalist organization that technically was running the government, but it was completely broken. The engine broke? why the engine break? Hey, we, we got a damaged engine outside of Winston. Alert all local east-west traffic. Got it. Tager 22 Intermountain, this is Tager Command. Right Come outside in. Winston. Look. Oh, and the trains. How'd the engine break? The uh, engine. It's got a fractured bogey. Has what? It's the undercarriage, sir. How long before you fix it? Well, the engine only weighs about 560,000 pounds. If you'd like to hold up one end, I'll crawl underneath, fix it myself. We'll be off in a jiff. Okay, that was that was a smart ass line that was good. It just weighs <laughs> sixty thousand pounds. Tiger here. God damn it, Jim, this is a hell of a way to run a railroad. I'm stuck out here in the middle of frosty ass nowhere. Now I got an engagement in San Francisco. And all I'm getting from your people is double talking, just so you know. Your payoffs are not gonna buy you out of this one. Yep, uh, take it easy now. Easy, easy for me to throw you in the grease with mouth if I don't make my fundraiser. Now get this, you get on the horn, and you get my ass out of here. Pronto. He's basically a stooge to assholes in the government that are nepotistic rich assholes that got their positions I through. The, 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 when Dagny was the 22 has a disabled locomotive just outside the Tager Tunnel. Yeah, I know that. What are you doing to get them moving? Well, the station chief won't answer, and nobody down the line is willing to take responsibility. Well, and I'm certainly not. I, I, I can tell you that. 
But don't we have another locomotive that we can use? I don't have diesel within 100 miles. But there is an old coal burner about four miles out. Can it pull a train? It should. They use it for rail yard towing, but good luck finding a driver. Do whatever you have to do to get Kip Chalmers through that tunnel and off that mountain. Sir, they say that you can... Let me guess. Nobody knows how to drive uh, coal-powered steam, steam engines. If you don't, tomorrow morning, I'm not going to have a railroad. And you're not going to have a job. I found a retired engineer that's willing to drive it. Really? Thank God somebody made a decision to do something. So basically, the problem is... I want to point out that the, the, this isn't a, like... This is the engineers fail to make sure that something was up to do stuff, and they and the entire like. So, but they're blaming the government for that. It's like, no, the government guy here is being a complete asshole. He's like, I'm going to ruin you if you don't do this. But this guy's a stooge to government people. That the, these assholes that have also the type of assholes that get into power and stay in power for long periods of time. You know, for generations, and their family then takes over as the senator of X state, etc are yeah uh he should be super pro taggart not anti-taggart and also oh we can't run this through eight miles he, he's probably also right about that you can't run it through eight miles but holy shit also again this means the engineers fucked up and they had no backup plan, which isn't a government thing. That's just how incompetent this company was. But no, yeah, they was hired. Yeah, they, apparently they hired people that See? could barely read. Apparently, no people. Because without their CEOs, they can't do anything. Hey, it's a nice looking interior of a train for a dining cart to pull. Oh, it's a very lovely train, actually. You've got it. You've got it. When it, it is a very pretty train, yes. On the inside, at least. Also, it's a big old coal thing, and they're gonna. Eastbound Army Freight Special, 30 miles out. D what? Okay, he was contacting everybody. Who should be clear by the time they reach the tunnel, right? What? 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 That that's again not a government thing. That's a they the company fucked up thing. <laughs> We're letting this other train come down the tracks. You know what? Hold the army special. No, you can't hold it. That's a government train. It's better to hold off the 22. I can't. It's a smoker on a 15% grade. He'll slide all the way back to Kansas if I stop him now. Now there's always prayer. Okay, so n they're blaming the government because of the government train using your rail lines. Oh, the coal smoke is billowing into the train. Uh, I just... Okay, that means that train isn't well, well properly sealed and ventilated, which is a company thing. I mean, it also means the tunnel isn't well ventilated either. That's technically again a company thing this guy doesn't how would he know that like I, 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 oh my god government like the government is like we can't stop this government train you can't delay the government train and just say oh it got delayed because of this other train getting delayed so we had to account for that also holy shit this thing is flooding with smoke fast Wait, there's an emergency brake that works for the entire train? B.S. Wait, it's stalling out? What? What is this? Wait, and now the rail lines aren't working. Which again, is not the government's fault. It's the corporation's fault.
<laughs> Holy shit! Like, again, they're trying to treat this all as though it's the government's fault. The government guy was an asshole and did a bunch of shitty stuff there. But, at the end of the day, every failure that we've seen has been because of the corporation. We had no backup plan. We have no... All the middle management people are saying fuck off and not actually doing their jobs. Literally, they're all saying, It wasn't me! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! You can't be fired! Just admit it was you if you fucked up. Because guess what? Since this statute's in place, you can't be fucking fired! There's no reason to give a shit. Your pay can't be decreased, your pay can't be increased. Why give a fuck? You know, put in the amount of effort that you need to make sure your job continues. I mean, I guess that's also why they're trying to say is, nobody gives a fuck, so why try and why bother, and that's why everything's falling apart. But... Uh, I don't... You know, that's a very randy thing. Why give a fuck if I'm forced to do this? Like... Because if you don't, you'll get people killed? Like, just happened? Not my problem. <laughs> Not our problem! You just killed several hundred people. On both trains. Uh, not my problem. Yes, it was! You were supposed to make sure the engine worked! Not problem. It is that's your... The government. No, that, that's the corporation, because it was the corporation that owned the line, owned the trains, and more. And... It was the corporation's train lines that failed. It was the corporation's engine that failed. It was the corporation's ventilation that wasn't working. None of that was the government fucking up. The only thing that the government fucked up, supposedly, was the fact that they couldn't stop the government train. Which also makes no sense. Because remember, the corporation tried to divert the train. That didn't work. And because they were using a subpar engine, they couldn't slow their train down. Also, why didn't they just slow the train? That's where you're wrong. You gotta keep the trains running on time. How? <sighs> well, they were counting on you to keep working. Ignore it. There's no future there. There's no future for the railroad. Yeah, almost like because of the fact that everybody did retarded things, they just blew up a fucking pair of trains. Why would I? What's all my doing? You blew up your own minds. Dear God, yes, we already knew he did that. Don't. Also, I like how not having what? Dagny around caused this. What? How exactly would that have caused it? Like, like that's the thing. How the fuck would she have solved it or made it not happen? Jeez. Or bare minimum mitigate the effects. Five troop cars, maybe another two hundred. Wait, it was an army train? What are they doing about it? Because there was two hundred soldiers and two hundred employees. Don't let James screw up anything else. Until yeah, be nice. That was established. I mean, even if it's an army train, that's even easier to stop because you're not at war right now. You're not trying to save a damn thing. What are you talking about? We've always been at war with Osia. Please. Let's not reference 1984. People don't seem to get that it's supposed to show just what... To be fair, you kind of walked into that with the whole, but we're not at war with anyone. In what could be the nation's worst ever rail disaster, a transcontinental train and another still unidentified train have collided in the world-famous Taggart Tunnel in southern Colorado. Though there is no official casualty count, there are no reports Wait, of survival. but if it's in Colorado, doesn't that mean it's using the Colorado line? Wait, wait, if it's using the Colorado line, why would you have taken apart the John Galt line? Eddie. Dang it. Thank God. I'm glad you're back from vacation. I, you need to take some responsibility around here. We need all of our best people on this right now. Start with Central Region. Get me Ryan on the line first. Ryan's a no-show. Then get me Nolan. Go on. Andrews? Go on. McGuire? Do we have any of our quality people left? You're looking at them. How long until they get that tunnel open? I, I didn't. That's all right. 
Wait, wait. So John Galt is basically just scalping all the people that are the middle management. He's not actually getting the CEOs. He's scalping the middle management to fuck over companies so they have no way to communicate with their small-scale employees, which is then causing them to collapse. Then he's like, hey, you want to come to my secret place? We haven't run heavy trains on those tracks. I just... What? Galt is the evil one. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, all these guys being gone, basically... Like, I'm going to Colorado. If I have to dig open that tunnel with a soup spoon, we are going to open that route and find all those that corpses. You need to be here. You mean you need me to do your job? Well, what do we tell the press, Mr. Mouch? Just when I thought there wasn't a problem in the world that I didn't have, Ms. Taggart. We're all very appreciative that you cut short your temporary leave of absence. I just want you to know you'll have the government's full support. If the government had stayed out of the way to begin with, we wouldn't have hundreds of people dead. Mm. It's lamentable. I understand that you're upset. It's upsetting to everyone. Your railroad links this nation together. The public relies on Okay, okay. The That's only thing the government did was have a train traveling down the same line. In order to bring this crisis to a speedy resolution. How about this? I just. Match? How is that the government's fault? Literally, everything bad that happened was because of the shitty stuff that the train breaking down and the one shitty senator being an asshole. That's not the government as a whole. You can't blame one shitty person, just like you can't blame the one shitty so CEO. I'm the face of Taggart Transcontinental. I, that, that's not how things work. One person, you know, isn't the death of something necessarily it can be but it's not necessarily <sighs> it's so heavy-handed it's just exploding in us also gold has been scalping every smart person and she hasn't also I want to point out that she hasn't been keeping in contact with her employees unless there's an emergency And I want to point this out, if she did, she would fucking know all those people are missing. Or has she been in that cabin for months? This movie's not that good at giving us a, t a frame of time. Well, because remember, the start of the movie is nine months. Uh, from basically, remember, they did that plane thing, that plane chase scene happens, and then they say nine months yeah. earlier. So this so is during the... Oh no, this is during between the plane chase scene and the start of the movie, basically. So it's during that nine months. So, we're looking at a period of anywhere between three and nine months. Wow. Also, the guy figured out the machine and he Hello? repaired it. Are you ready, Mr. Daniels? Yep. There's Mr. Galt. Kidnapping a dude who just finished the machine. Like, here's the thing, like, why isn't he contacting... Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I gotta contact Dagny. I made a promise to her to do this. And if he doesn't, then he's an asshole, and he also would technically, by Randy Philosophy, not be doing his job, because he's... You know, his self-good would be aiding Dagny, first and foremost. Then, you know, because he would get paid, then he would go to help Galt. Oh, did the train stop and break down? Yep. Again, not the government's oh, fault. <laughs> I don't know, could be. I got my job to do. Any idea what the problem is? Uh, seems like an ECU malfunction. Any idea how long it'll take to fix it? Uh, it could be two hours, could be a few days. Hey, you're Dagny Taggart. Depends. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Wow, that's that's great. I'd say, wow. Uh, gee, you're you're a legend. This is an honor. Uh, thank you for my job. Uh, thank you for my job. Uh, I'm Jeff Allen, trackman, Tiger Transcontinental. What? Where'd you get the hat, Jeff Allen? <laughs> yeah. Well, those were great days for a while. What happened at Twentieth Century Motor Company? Who is John Galt? I wish I knew who started that expression. That, uh, that might have been me. <laughs> what? Well, 
Me or somebody else who worked at the plant back in Starnsville, Wisconsin. Okay, that was kind of funny. What happened there? Well, Mr. Starnes passed and his heirs took over. It wasn't worth a lick. They had this big plan about how they were going to run the place, and uh, we were all going to belong to each other like a big family. And the idea was that uh, everybody would work to the best of his ability, but be paid according to his needs. That's when John Galt stood up and said he'd have no part of it. How would they know whose needs came first? Well, now that is a rub. Isn't, isn't they just basically quote yeah. the Communist Manifesto right there, work. like according to their abilities harder, for their needs? No, that's what some people think. It's complicated, you know. Nobody knew too much about him, really. I mean, I just remember when he uh, he walked out. He, he swore that he was gonna he was gonna put an end to the whole thing once and for all. He said, uh, "I will stop the motor of the world." Also, I want to point out that Galt is basically fucking the world by grabbing all the smart people because his plan is fuck the rest of the world, we'll let it burn and then we smart people, these libertarians will rule the world! He's basically trying to cause the apocalypse. what he said. Stopping the motor of the world. Also, he's fucking over a lot of people that are good people who may agree with him but aren't up to his caliber. Because they're not smart or great enough by his standards. Which, when you think about it, you're like, what? Because, like, you know, if it was something like the fuel and the engine ran out, that would be government responsibility. The government has put a cap on how much fuel you can buy or sell, and that fucks over the train. But it wasn't the government. The, the only thing, because they knew that the train was coming. So that was all on the the company to make sure that the train didn't collide, and they fucked it up. Because you can fucking... Also, again, gasoline being super highly expensive is not a government Quit. thing. That <sighs> you asked me to find the person who created the motor? I think I have the answer. The really? That's great. Actually, I was just about to call you. Tell me you've made progress. I did. I really did. That's not the thing that I just did everything. See, I can't work for you anymore. I have to resign. That's fine, Quentin. I respect that. Let's talk about this in person, face to face. Honestly, there's nothing you can say to make me change my mind. Don't move. Don't do anything. I'll be there in a few hours. It'll be too late. Also, yeah, again, the gas being ridiculously bullshit expensive is not a government thing because the government doesn't... Uh, that's another government that sets the price of gas because people have to buy it from them. That, that's a corporation having to buy and then have to spend a shit ton of money. I'd like to rent that antique. <laughs> Sorry, it's not for rent. Is it for sale? Everything's for sale. And she buys the plane to chase after the guy. And now we're back to where the movie started. Hey, I'm flying to Utah. Utah? Long story. I'll double back to Colorado after I've met with Quentin Daniels. Sounds good. There's a man on the ground here. Jeff Allen. Double his salary. Triple it. Oh, and get him a new truck ASAP. I stole his. I'll see you soon, Eddie. Done. Also, that's kind of nepotism. The guy's like, I'm a nice person. But I give you the story about this. Also, in the book, it was a homeless person. A random homeless person that told Dagny about this stuff. Captain Tower, this is Whiskey Papa 409er requesting permission to land. Whiskey Papa 409er, this is... Uh, another one of the parasites. Who's the parasite now? Oh, the homeless. Probably what they are on Randy and Philosophy. I mean, they 100% are. Also, I like how Quentin's running because he realizes Dagny's coming after him. It's like... Dude! Also, why isn't this guy trying to get Dagny, considering how smart she is? Oh no. Also, is that a VTOL? Is that a vertical? It is! It's a VTOL! Yes! Yep. 
I fucking love it. John oh, now we know definitively that she that he knows he's following her. Yeah, but more importantly, I want to point out that John Galt has a veto. Galt has a veto. Nice. Why not? Also, I want to point out that, like, Dagny should have been like, okay. Do you have all the information that I had you record that I paid you for there? Uh, yes. Did you write down all your notes? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to come and retrieve the notes that I paid you for, as was our arrangement. Because in Randy Philosophy, you did the work for me, therefore, it is mine by rate of I paid you. Except. There's, a, there's the other counter-argument of, well, I'm the one that did the work, therefore it's my right to destroy it. Which the other side of Randy Blossom, because those two contradict each other horribly, and you're like, wait, what? Also, she's got a... he's got a... what? A hollow screen that hides the place? Looks like it. God, that is not the time for that line, nor is it helpful. Also, this place must be fucking huge. I don't know about you, but that should probably freaking the fuck out. I mean, yeah, I'd be too, but I want to point out this place would have to be huge to have planes land in it. And support the, you know, also, yeah. This is... Yeah. The Agnes play is just getting torn apart. Also, where the fuck is this? It's gotta be close that she can travel by plane. It's definitely not gonna be in Canada. So is it in the US somewhere? Where in the US? Or is it, you know, in the Midwest? In South I think they said it was like somewhere like the Midwest. Well, that's the thing. We know she's in Utah, and then she goes from Utah to wherever this is. So we just know that. It's within flying distance from Utah with whatever... Somewhere in the continental United States. Well, it depends on how much this jet can get, like, fuel-wise. So, it could be... It could be a pretty big circle, but it's not going to be across the Pacific or across the Atlantic. So, you know... And based on the temperate climate, it's not going to be in South America, so it has to be in the US or Canada somewhere and then the question is how the fuck do people not know about it? Miss Taggart, you're hurt. You know me? Of course. For many years. Who are you? I am John Galt. Hide him in shadows cause John Galt. John Galt, have sex with me, I want your babies! You're already pregnant, Dagny, by my touch. <gasps> Thank you, John Galt! You're the messiah figure we need as Randians! <laughs> we have no legal structure here. Everything is handled by contracts between parties. There's law houses to debate things ethically and discuss the contracts in full. Also, shouldn't it, like, yeah, that's where part two ends. Why the fuck did it have the plane chase scene at the beginning? Legitimately, why wasn't that just saved till the end? We literally just had a five minute segment of the plane chase scene and then we had the rest of the fucking movie and then it just cuts back there which is why why not just make that entire scene just at the end was it to padding probably 
Uh, good. Uh, let's see which of uh, you all. Uh, I want trivia. Yeah, all the roles were the original movie recast. Uh, anything else interesting? Oh, wait, there we go. Nope. Uh, nothing else interesting. Wait. Okay, uh, yeah. Well, that was, that was something. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. On to part three, Kiri. Oh. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Yay! Stab, stab. Why won't we die? <laughs> Damn it, I knew the immortality serum wasn't worth it. I won death <laughs> rather than Randians.